folks, good afternoon and welcome to your virtual video. I'm now going to demonstrate the outside of the vehicle and then we'll go inside and do the nice bit. On the outside then, next to the driver's compartment, you've got your onboard gas compartment. You fill it up at the petrol station, the instructions are there, please follow them. In conjunction with that, just inside by the driver's door is your indication to give you a reading of how much you've got left in your tank. Point to note, it will only give you a reading when the engine is running. Ventilation for your fridge has to have a place to ventilate, that's all it's doing. As you can see under there, your gas emergency control. You as a customer should never need to go under there and switch it off, however, the triangle tells you where it is. Above that, you've got your 12 volt adapter and your TV aerial connecting to the campsite. Next to that is your water container if you want to use an aqua roll. What you'll probably use is the fresh water on the other side of the vehicle, which I'll show you in two seconds. However, at the end of the holiday, winterization, we have to drain the vehicle as well. And underneath on the blue valve, like you can see, is your fresh water. Turn it, lock it off to drain it and undrain it. Next to that is your 230 power supply, giving you all your electrics into the vehicle, running off to the campsite. And to the left of that again, is your extractor fan for your hot water, or your heating, sorry. Nothing you need to do to it is winterization. Please be aware, a bit of steam and heat will come out of it. That's it. That's it on the driver's side, come round to the rear. On the rear of the vehicle, utmost is your reverse camera. I'll show you that once we get inside the vehicle. On the right hand side is your two person bike rack doing what it needs to do, what you've asked to be put on. The only thing to note on this one, when you open the rear doors, please be aware of the overhang on the side. So grab hold of it and open it up. Open the right hand door first. Inside on the left hand side, you've got your black handle. Open up the left hand side. As you can see, you've got nice access into the rear of your motorhome. When shutting the door again, grab hold of the bike rack itself, otherwise you will knock your head and shut the door itself. Moving on round. First compartment we come to is your external gas barbecue. So you can connect your gas, George Foreman's or whatever you want to use to the vehicle. You don't need to bring spare gas bottles. It's connected to the gas that's on your vehicle. Up above is your nice long awning. Please be aware, it's user discretion, so please don't use it on a windy day or a day like today snowing, otherwise it will buckle, will bend, and it will break. Like I said on the other side, what you're gonna use is your fresh water container. Inside there, put your garden hose, fill it up with fresh water, and that's what you're gonna use. There's indications inside to tell you how much water you've got in your tank. In conjunction with that, you're gonna have dirty water from your sink and your shower. We need to drain that as well. Underneath, exactly the same as the blue one, a grey valve this time denoting dirty water. Again, turn the valve and drain it out at the end of every holiday and winterisation. Last but not least, you've got your awning light. I'll show you how to switch it on in the side of the vehicle and your nice electric step to get in and out of the vehicle. 